All they songs is extra weak, confusion, steady stressing me. Running out of patience, let the journey get the best of me. Today I'm gonna to show you guys one of my favorite camera tricks when it comes to music videos. Um, this is something you've probably seen before and didn't even realize it, but it's a very cool effect. So let's jump into it. So I posted this kind of split screen BTS to my Instagram um, showing this like kind of lighting shooting trick for this music video we did years ago for Futuristic and it just got tons of questions, interaction on like how we did it and just you know how simple it was but how dope it was and this is actually a trick where you see a lot of times where a music video will be in slow motion um, but the words still sync up. Um, and that's what we did here and so I'm gonna quickly just kind of break that down as well as just showing that like hey like you don't need a crazy extensive setup to get a professional looking you know video shot this entire music video was a one take shot that was shot in Futuristic's apartment living room we just threw up some black duvetine in a 8x8 frame behind him to kind of create this black void space and then as you can see here we just have a china ball mounted to some speed rail that we're literally just rotating around him and we knew this is the effect we wanted to do to where it looked like the light was just like moving around his face and just like spinning and spinning and so this is the setup we came up with but we knew that if we shot it in regular speed the light would be moving too fast so i asked futuristic if he could rap the song in double time speed <laughs> like two times the speed. And then we would just shoot in 48 frames a second because naturally you're filming in 24 frames a second. So by shooting in 48 frames a second in slow motion, he would need to wrap the song at double speed. And he was able to do that. So then when we record him performing the song at double speed and you slow down that 48 frames a second, it syncs up perfectly. And now the light is moving in a slower pace his mouth is moving slower, all his movements are slower, and it just creates this really dynamic look. But that's what we did for this video, and it was shot entirely in his living room um, and in his apartment for, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred bucks, the rental of the uh, the speed rail, the frame for the black duvetine, and then that's pretty much it. So a simple look and setup, and you can see here, I'll show, I'll be cutting two behind the scenes and different things, but you can just see the light rotating and moving slowly and he's you can tell he's performing and the and the lyrics are synced up but there's just a little slow you know tendency and movement to the whole thing this video would absolutely not have the same dramatic effect or look if it was just 24 frames a second it just would not have the same emotion and feeling and the song's a very emotional song so i also knew it just it had to be in slow-mo and the only way to do that was to record in slow-mo and have him perform at a faster speed. And it worked out. We didn't do any tests prior to the video um, to see you know, if the, the whole trick and lighting guide would work. In theory, it worked in our heads and we're like, okay, this will be cool. And yeah, luckily we were able to pull it off, shot it in maybe like an hour and uh, put out the one take video. And here we are a couple years later, it's got a couple million views. So super simple. You don't need to get crazy like you just sometimes it's the simple things that look and work the best and sure you could do this on a much higher produced and budget and level and there's a more professional way that you could get this done but the fact of the matter is you don't need a massive budget to get cool shots and that it's kind of the moral of the story of this and, and just what I briefly wanted to break down for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this little trick. You can do this in a myriad of ways, um, you know, from the, the double time speed, speeding the song up or the opposite would be slowing the song down. And so there's, there's a couple of ways you can have fun with it. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, smash that like button for me. Um, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hopefully you guys learn something from this and yeah i'll uh, i'll see you guys on the next one peace